scenarios where I can make plays and, and using, you know, my uh, my abilities in the right way and getting myself open and, and um, you know, I'm just catching the ball and doing the rest. And, and I think that's a good job of, uh, you know, it's similar to things I did last year. Last year was, you know, with Hakeem being hurt, I was just getting a bulk of, of the coverage and I was getting it all. But I think with myself, Hakeem and Ruben, they got to have to kind of account for everyone and they can't just solely focus on myself um, or any one of us for that matter. So it's, um, you know, it's just a matter of going out there and playing. Getting open, catching the balls that are thrown to me and making something happen. Yeah. And that's all I can do is just do what's expected of me and get myself open and be, you know, an outlet for you guys to hit. And, uh, you know, but it's not just about me. It's about this team getting on the same page and us clicking on all the cores and getting this offense back on track. Do you Victor, still when believe in this team, Victor, and believe that this team can be a playoff team? 100 percent, 100 percent. I think you know we have the same guys in here that won a Super Bowl a couple years ago, and that you know understand what it takes that to to win games and to be in that position and make the playoffs and excel during the playoffs. So I definitely think we have that in this locker room. I definitely still believe. Victor, when you see the NFC East, I mean, if you guys win this week. Dallas loses to Denver. You're just one game out. I mean, do you look at that? Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're realists in, in our division, and we understand what's in front of us, and we understand there's still a shot. You know, we're not completely out of this thing. We just have to, you know, believe that um, wholeheartedly throughout this entire team, and we can definitely accomplish our goal. Is it one of those things, if you win one game, you feel like guys will start feeling better? And, you know, I think, so. I think so. Once we get that first one under our belt, I think uh, it, it'll start going in the right direction. But that's what it is, man. That's the key is getting that first one and then, and then going from there. With the victory, do you have any second thoughts about uh, maybe second guessing uh, Coach Carl? I'm moving forward. I'm not talking about that anymore. I'm moving forward to this week. we got Philadelphia Eagles coming up, and I'm excited about this job. <laughs> I mean, it's a huge one for us. I mean, everything that happened in the past is over. Coach Carl, the like second first quarter of our season is over, and, and we just got to move forward and see how we can get better in the second quarter and moving forward. So. We're excited for this opportunity, man. It, 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 you know, with everything that's gone wrong this season, we're still in the position to, uh, you know, be in the hunt for our division and, and potentially win our division if we went out and continue to play our games and, and win these ball games. But you got to play better. I mean, all this math, all this stuff looking at the schedule, nothing matters if you don't play better as a team. I agree. Nothing matters if we don't win ball games. And if, uh, you know, we can look at the scenario as much as we want. Uh, none of those are going to come true if we don't win uh, a ball game and kind of take it from there. So we understand what's in front of us. We understand the challenge, and uh, we're, we're going to fight to to continue to do that. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like at home against Philadelphia? It's going to be exciting. I mean, Giants fans, this is what, you know, they love division games. They love uh, rivalry games, and, and Philly's one of those for us. And it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be intense. The fans are going to be cheering, and they understand how big this game is for us. And, uh, you know, we're excited. We're excited to play well in front of our home fans. It's one of the more interesting things you're going to so you know, because things weren't working, play calling and becoming like throwing darts at a board. Do you sense from the game plan for the play calls that they're kind of trying everything right now, even if it's not your standard stuff? Um, I don't know. I think you know everything that we call is stuff that we go over, stuff that we do week in and week out, stuff that we prepared. And so it was nothing just off the cuff that we were doing. I mean, everything was uh, designed for the team we were facing, and it wasn't. You know, everything was going according to plan. Other than you know we weren't converting and things like that, but no play calling or anything was like out of the ordinary. Do you think that? About trying to get you. You guys are made back Yeah, you are. Don't lie. I'm actually really not. Do you think that sometimes change the or is, are you better off in the struggle to stick with what you know best? I don't know. That's a question for the coaching staff. We just hear and, and they implement game plans for us to, to execute, and, and we just got to go out there and play. That, that stuff that they, you know, they've been around this league a long time, and they know what's, what works and what doesn't work, with what is going to work, and things like that, and they're able to adjust on the fly. So that's stuff that they have to go through, and we have to go out there and execute the game plan that they put in front of us. Um, this game's always intense. Us against Philly is always intense, no matter what the records are, no matter how each team is playing. Um, it's an important game for us, no matter what the records are, no matter what, uh, you know, no matter how we're playing or they are. Really. This game's important in the division. We got to get this victory back by any means necessary.